what's going on people so I was asked to make a newbie guide for this game since I keep trying to get people to play it so I'm going to make this guide assuming you know nothing of this game so once you download it and you get onto this home screen right here first we're gonna look at this we have these things here click user data and then you're gonna see right up here you're gonna see your ID your name right here you wanna change your support to your main character or like your best character you don't wanna leave it the way it is this might be something you need to do maybe day two Maybe day one, depends how long you play the game. But automatically you're going to have uh, the Hero of Light or whatever. And he's going to be useless. He's not going to be leveled up or anything like that. You're also going to have your friend ID right here. And this is what you give to people. When you want them to add you. Then you can click this and edit your message. Mine is my YouTube channel, obviously. And then it shows you your uh, acquired gems. It's supposed to tell you what you've spent on. I can't remember how to figure that out. So you can click this and look at the characters. You can go here to edit the stickers that you have. Depend. You're probably only going to have these Koopa ones. You can buy a... Uh, more stickers in this Decidia shop right here with the D but every week on Monday you want to have this 900 Decidia points right here for this power stone it's the most important thing you can buy in this shop you need to buy it every single week you're also gonna have a bunch of stickers in here I already bought them all those are the most fun things for me that I would buy here uh, other things our uh, stamina potions right here. These are for uh, quests or whatever. I'll, sh I'll talk a little bit more about them when we get there. And these are cycle keys. These are also for quests. We'll talk about that in a second. And gill. You don't really need this but you can spend it on there. So we go back here. All this junk. Data backup. You're going to want to do that. This batch download thing right here. This I suggest that you do because it like loads everything onto the phone or whatever you're doing. Like I use BlueStacks right now. So you don't want to be sitting around waiting for loading times. Gifts. This is where you're going to get all your daily gifts and stuff. Every time you log on you're going to be able to get something just for logging on and you just go in there click accept all and get it all <laughs> the information tab is what this is tells you what's coming tells you what happened so right now we can see that uh, we're gonna get a new character probably Sunday night This just came out, this last chapters thing. Blah blah blah, you can obviously figure that out. This last button here is uh, for multiplayer shops and for armor tokens. This is a special event that's going on right now for autumn. Usually, it's going to be, if you just start the game like now, Sephiroth is here. So you'll go into Sephiroth and do his story mode. And his, and his multiplayers and then you'll earn these tokens here. Then you can go click exchange. You'll be able to see a whole bunch of stuff in here that you probably don't understand what any of it is. Unfortunately I've already bought the stuff that you would want to buy here. So what you want to buy is gems, tickets, and armor tokens. They'll say that on their name, obviously, up here. Other than that, 
since you're brand new at the game, you're gonna hopefully you start the game when you actually like a character, so you're wanna gonna keep doing the co-ops. So you wanna buy these higher higher power orbs and these higher higher guard orbs, and then also this is pretty important. Also, you're going to you might actually want to do this right after the initial things I said. These Sephiroth artifacts right here. Unique artifacts is what it says here. So you're going to want to buy a bunch of these things. And then once you buy them, you go click this button here to the side. Click enchantments. Now you can click enhance. Now you go to the artifacts. Then you'll see that you have a bunch of artifacts here. You can filter them by clicking this obtain thing. I like to get rid of these that are useless to see. And you can see all your four stars because these are the important ones. Try to find... Okay. So you click one. Now it says limit break. So you want to click one, two, three. Now you have limit broke. See if you look at these circles here. One, two, three. So you want your initial one, and then you want three more of the exact same one. And then you have them completely limit broke. So you can look at this level cap. It says 10 of 16 because you limit broke it. So you limit break it. Now you raise the level cap to 12, to 14, to 16. And that will be as high level as it can go. Then you want to fill out the rest of your levels with artifacts that you don't care about. Okay, so I, you can see now that these are blacked out because they'll level up to complete max. Confirm. Then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Okay, so now you can see the artifact turned to gold. Alright, so these aren't great. Initial Brave is something that you're not going to want, probably on any character. Max Brave, you're probably going to want on a lot of characters, but you're going to want orange ones. Then once you click that, yes, it's going to keep going. It's going to add that onto your character. Now you can take and pull it off. I don't have enough artifacts right now. I don't think of anybody I can actually show you. Try it again here. Well, anyways, you can only have three of these on one character at a time and if you do it a fourth time it'll ask you if you want to overwrite one of your existing artifact passives and then if you say yes it'll t it'll take you to a screen that says which one do you want to get rid of now that doesn't force you to get rid of one because it, it asks you again are you sure do you want to do this and then you p you pick one of the ones that you don't want anymore and then you put in the one that you do so if you go into your screen here, let's say you want to look at Squall or any character, you just click a character, you go to passive abilities down here, then you click this one right here it's under this plus, passive ability artifacts. So these are the artifacts I have for Squall. These are what you want to be shooting for on most characters. On every character you want orange abilities. If they don't, If they're not orange, they're not that good. I think the the best thing you can look for is attack. Most of the time it's going to be a very good stat for most 
most to all characters. So if you get an attack stat, that's great. Uh, another thing, depend it really depends on your character what you want your other move to say. So like right here, Mighty Red Zukan. This is Squall's like main damage ability, so obviously it's going to be great. So you want that. Max Brave would also be pretty good on Squall. Now you can see on the second one I have defense plus 126. That's the highest defense stat, but defense isn't that impressive in this game, so you don't really need this stat. If I got another one of these, attack and Mighty Resuscan, I would go back in here and replace this bottom one first, probably, just because this is only a white Mighty Resuscan, one star. But you can also just replace this defense one with this one. So basically what I want to get here is 3 attack and mighty Razuka and 2 stars and just fill it up here. Also, every time you do an artifact, this number will be different. So as you can see I have an 8 and I have a 2 12s. The lower, much better to have lower ones, but you can't really affect that. It's all luck. That's like one of the most grindy things in the game. So... So while we're looking at the, this character, you can see that I have Platinum Equipment here and Passive Abilities. These Passive Abilities you want to have, this is why you level. When you level up, you're going to be able to unlock the Passive Abilities. Best place to level up is in Quests, you click Quests. And then you click events. If you start playing right now within these 16 days of me making this video. There's an event called Cactor Condon Condendrum or whatever. You would want to click this. And probably do whichever one of these that you can do. This one or this one. These give you a lot of experience. I would suggest trying to do these. If you can't, if you're not strong enough to do these. You can click on these cycle quests. Then you can do this quest level 10, quest level 20, quest level 30. This how I farm levels when that other event's not here. I just click this last one. So whichever one you can do, I click it and that's what I do. I do all 10 of these. And if you look down here, there's black, blue, red, green, yellow and white and then there's this cac cactus one down here these all cycle through different days but if you click one that's not there it says do you want to use a cycle quest key you get these throughout the week sometimes for free but you can also buy them with those decidia points like i said at the beginning of this video then you can click yes and then you'll have one half hour to do as many as you can do of these and the reason that they have different colors here if you click this you can see squall here has a black jewel here cloud has a blue one and orange has a black one and that is for click on enhancements again crystal strength so you go in here click a character and you can see all these abilities when you level up, you unlock the ability to get these, but you need the crystals. So it shows you you need... I have 300 small, 300 mediums, and 800 large ones. And this shows you the prices of them. You want to get all of them unlocked most of the time. Especially if you like a character. Then you have options. So they max out at 999. But yeah. Once you max them out, it'll say... Whatever color the crystal is, 50. Then you know that's maxed out. So leveling a character to max level isn't the most important important thing. Most important thing is to get this to 50. So once you do that, then you can start autoing this and whatever. I suggest that you do this 
for as much as you can do. It gives you a lot of XP right now. Alright, so... Now let's talk about story missions right here. This new co-op... It says co-op here, but it's basically character story. So every... Most of the time, every week to three weeks out of the month maybe, you're going to have a new character in the game. You go in here to event quest, click this, you'll start here, do this, do this, do this, you might, you're going to unlock the character through doing these. And then you'll want to do as many as you can do until you get to this co-op one. And that's when you get most of these gold points right here. These are, you can get to the shop right here through this. Because this is a Seth Roth event. You get him. These are his points. This is his shop. Now you, you get these gold ones through this co-op. So you click co-op. You click group because there you can't do this solo. Then you can click guest. And then you can say, you can do it just for fun, or you can do it with wanted boosted characters. So if your character is like, say you really like Sephiroth in this event, and then you powered him up as much as possible, then you will click wanted boosted characters because your character is for this specific event. And if you want to see who is boosted, you can click, click this button again, party, and then you can click this sort by boosts so you can see right here it says xp times two for these characters because they're boosted right now so sephiroth vincent and Ico, they're also glowing white you can tell that these aren't glowing white here even though these guys have exp2 they're not glowing they're not boosted for this event well a boosted character has blue stats here because they're increased stats so that's why they're better that's why people are looking for those increased stats so they can do this stuff easier now once you do this you're gonna have a problem if you try to do this with a low level low gem character people will leave and not allow you to play with them anymore so another thing is once you click this look in the allies there's also the summons tab here you can find all the summons tab most of the time in these co-op events you're gonna want either this sylph or this chocobo and the reason you want them is because summon speed fast you're going to be able to use them faster than these big ones because this has summon speed normal. A lot of these co-ops are very, very fast. You kill them extremely fast and you just want to summon spam the boss until they're dead. Sometimes you'll want to pick these bigger ones, but so far in the game right now, 90% of the time you're just going to use uh, the Chocobo or the Sylph summon. So also, this host button allows you to make your own co-op event. So now they can't kick you. You are in charge. So once you click this, you're going to bring up your friends menu. And then you can go through here and click which friends you want to invite. So you can see this. I have a check mark here. Then you click this request. Or you click free recruit. And then you'll just free recruit anybody. And then you can change this select co-op goal here just for fun or wanted boosted characters. So then you decide if you want to have those boosted characters or not. You can also click auto here and it will ask everybody on your first page to come help you. So I think I covered that good. You can also click here for the scores. You're going to want to beat the score on these missions. You can only beat these missions and scores to get these gems when you do the host yourself. Then you can click here the enemies. You can click on the enemy's picture. 
look at if they're weak to any elements, weak to any weapons. You can see what they do here. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's the EX. This is a very hard event. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to do this as a new character, as a new player. So don't worry about it. It's not that important. But what it is, super hard event that rewards you a bunch of gems here. You get 400 gems, probably 500 gems for actually beating it because you get an initial clear bonus. And then there's also some missions. If you go into missions, there's also like a special mission and event for beating it so you can get tickets and things. But you'll probably only end up with five to 600 gems <clears throat> and maybe uh, between five and 10 tickets for doing this. And you're going to need basically max out boosted characters. Maybe not even boosted, but probably at least one boosted character to beat this. And when I say maxed out, you're going to hear this. If you go online, you're going to hear a term called MLB. So what that means is... So here's my weapon here. It's platinum. Now, if you had the same weapon, you just pull this weapon, <clears throat> it would be gold. But minus MLB, because I have 1, 2, 3, I have limit broken this until it's maxed level, max limit broken. And you can tell that I have that here because I have this red check mark here. And once you do this, you are forever able to use this passive. So this cutting trigger weapon here has this lion's bolt passive here and it gives Renzo Kukun a brave boost self turn blah 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 all this stuff and then you can see in this passive abilities here's that lion's bolt passive for the weapon it says active affinity bonus because I have the weapon already on my character here but if I unequip the weapon and say I just put this weapon on See now this lion's bolt here no longer says active affinity bonus and it's not equipped anymore. So how do I equip it? I have to click all these things off. All those E's I need to get them off and then I click this and now I have the passive for that weapon that I don't have equipped anymore but it's like I do. So then I would no longer actually need that weapon anymore. But because that weapon is the strongest weapon right now in the game, you don't want to get rid of it. Okay. So you don't need, once you go on those passives, you're not going to need the weapon or the armor piece. This armor also has its own passive. If you hold down, you have to hold down to get to this picture. This has a passive called Tenacity. So that's automatically equipped on your character. So you don't have to equip it manually. It's already there. Tenacity. So you want to equip all this other stuff. Alright. But there's different kinds of weapons for characters. So this weapon here. You'll hear is commonly referred to as a 30, 35 CP weapon. Because once you get one copy of this, you'll have this CP right here. It, says, it will say 35. And that is saying that you can have 35 points in this passive. Alright. So let's say if you only have Brothers and Lion's Bolt, that's 40 CP that it would cost. So that weapon at 35 would only allow you to equip one of the two because this equals 40 so that's what CP stands for passes so the higher CP a weapon has the better off you are each character right now in the game has 135 CP well not each character each character has at least one 15 CP and a lot of them have 35 CPs so you want to get the 15 CP 
but it's not amazing, especially if they have a 35. You want a MLB the 15 CP, and then that will permanently unlock the char character's 15 CP. So if you if this was a 15 CP weapon here, you want to turn it platinum, and then permanently unlock the uh, passive. It will stay in the passes forever. Then you can go in here. Enhancements. View and sell. Now you can go in here. Look for that weapon that you have. Platinumed. And it, you don't want to do this unless it's platinum. So you can go in here by filter. Click six stars. These are all your platinum weapons. These are all my platinum weapons. I'm using them all, so I'm not going to sell them. But, if you have a 35 CP and a 15 CP weapon for the same exact character, and your 15 CP is uh, platinum, you can put the 35 CP on your character. Your 15 CP will be used, uh, no longer used because you're already using the 35 CP and you already have the passive. You'll click that, you'd go in here, click the 15 CP weapon, Click it and sell it. So what you'll get is uh, right here you'll get these power stones. Okay. So even though you'll think maybe you don't want to do that because you're wasting a weapon. No you're not wasting a weapon because you'll get these power stones back. And power stones allow you to pretend that you have a weapon for something else. Tell them break. Okay, so when you limit break a weapon, you need the original, say you're limit breaking a 15 CP weapon. You need the original CP 15 weapon, then you need three copies of that weapon to throw into that weapon. And that'll be an enhance. Five stars. Then you click one of these. Confirm and then if you had one It would be it would show up and it would say limit break and then you would get one of these orbs So right now I have two of this exact same 15 CP weapon into this because I'm trying to limit break it And then if you uh, Want to you can say click this limit break here This is awesome if you uh, didn't catch what I did there, you can click any of these weapons here, confirm, and then you're trying to tr uh, train the weapon up to level it up or limit break it. So you go here if you want to level it up here or use bad weapons. It's a little hard to demonstrate with this one, so I'll pick a new weapon. Okay, so this is a level 1 weapon. So if I want to level it up, bam, I click here. I would click max. You can see here that it's leveling all the way up to 20 because I've maxed it up. Here are the stats that you'll get. Here's how much it will cost to do this. Now if you want to MLB this weapon, you click this limit break. Or you click weapons if you had doubles of this weapons. But I don't have doubles, so... What I would do here is I'd click this limit break and it would show these power stones. Then you would click the power stones and you need four of these power stones to get one orb. So you need uh, 12 of these power stones to MLB a weapon that you have no doubles of. I don't want to do that. I don't want this weapon to be MLB'd. Because I'm not planning on using Eunice for a, a long time. I might never really use her. I don't. These are very important. You don't want to just waste them. You want to make sure that the character that you use these on is a character you really want. So what is that limit break? You can click this and read that. But like I said, the power stones are very important. And if you don't remember, I said... Every week you can buy a power stone in the Decidia shop at the very t 
title screen here. This D shop power stone. You need 500 of city of points. You can get the city of points through uh, the daily missions. Go to the dailies. And then you do five quests, doesn't matter what they are. And then you can get that. The fourth quest is the city. The fifth quest is gems. So you want to do this every day. Uh, if you're watching this way later, right now they have an event that's doubling your dailies. So usually it's only 150 and 100 gems here. So. Okay, so now we have that out of the way. I hope I explained that well enough. So let's see, what else do we want to go here? So, if you click the support items here, there are certain things. If you click this Relic of Knowledge, if you click Use here, you're going to get obtain twice the amount of XP, Gil, and items from quests. You don't want to waste these. Make sure you do not waste these. You also have... If you click this one, you can't click any of these other ones because it gives you all these, uh, these benefits from these other ones. Twice the amount of items, twice the amount of gill, twice the amount of XP. So, I used all of my training books here because of the autumn event that I showed you earlier. If you go in there with a low character and you click this book of training, you're going to get a lot of XP. You'll be probably be able to XP them uh, within an hour. Maybe two, depending on... Uh, how well you're able to do. Uh, twice the amount of items collected. Now this is kind of a trick here. As a new player you probably don't want to do... You might want to do this uh, at the start just to get your main character good. So let's say because Sephiroth is right now he is... What is Sethroth? I'm forgetting what he is. We're just looking for him right now so I can see what gems he uses. Okay, so Sethroth is green. And as you can see, I only have 44 of him. 44 out of 50, so he's definitely not maxed out. So then you will go in here to the cycle quests. Here's the green ones. You want to unlock this with one of these. I don't want to do that, but it's going to bring up the same menu here. So if you need the crystals, you will go in here, click one. Okay, now once you're in here, Click support, click book of treasure, use, you will have a half hour of double items that you get out of these treasure cycle. And then you will get double the amount of gem drops. Okay, so I used uh, the double items at, at this level 50 quest here because it gives you large gems and medium gems and small gems. This will only give you some small, some small, some small, and some medium, some medium and some small, maybe a large, but this one gives you most of them. So that's what you use them for. But it also is that item, the double item is very good for this co-op event to get these uh, drops. If you use, if you're able to get a group going and you do this for maybe an hour you can do two post two of those books of uh two of these books of treasures and then that'll give you an hour to do this and then you'll be able to get so many of these that you'll pretty much be able to buy everything i said in this shop you'll be able to buy the uh the gems you'll be able to buy the tickets and you'll be able to buy the armor tokens okay and if it's your favorite character, you might want to use another book and do it for another, another half hour, two hours, so you can buy the artifacts because you definitely got to want these artifacts. 
and as a new player you're basically going to want a lot of stuff so once you're done with all that you can even buy some of the gems in here to help yourself out very good so let's see what else you can do here so okay so the story is in chapters if you click on one of these obviously you did the tutorial but you what they don't tell you is you want to complete them where it says complete in gold then you can go click on hard complete that in gold and that will actually give you a mission complete and it'll be in player as you can see here it says complete chapter 5 palace blah 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 in hard mode and it will reward you 1,000 gems for doing that so it's very important that you're not on auto when you're completing these hard modes and whatever actually go in there try to complete it the first time around get to get this you need to clear all this stuff you need target the score and you need to do what these missions tell you to do the hard ones are not to take breaks if it says don't take a break it means don't let the enemy break you so uh, I have to assume that you understand what that is since you did the tutorial you did the starting quest okay so now there's the world of illusions here and some of these events go away and some of them are just going to be there all the time the ones you need to concern yourself with are the ones that will leave and it'll tell you how many days are left so here you, this has two days left click it and you can see here I have completed them all in gold but the reason you want to do this is because when you do these whoops you're gonna get gems and that's all I care about in here so you do the mission you get these hunter gems for doing it and then that's all you care about really so what this world of illusions quest is right here it's for artifacts this is where you grind 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 this is the grind part of the game but it says SP required to take on quests in World of Illusions. Okay, so you can see down here, it's set right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's at the low point. I'll move it up again. You can see this green bar. It says I have 157 out of 200 SP down there. So this is kind of limiting you on what you can do. Okay, so when you're a new player, you're not going to have much SP. You might only be able to do one quest or so but it will go up as you have more and more characters higher leveled so every 10 levels you're gonna rank up and you can see that right here it says my rank is 341 and your rank is gonna be like 5 or something so your SP is gonna be really small but if you rank up so if you level character 10 levels, you will rank up, refill your SP bar, and then you can go back in here and do these quests. Okay, so let's see. I click this quest here and it says, quest level 20, waves 3, SP 10. So it costs 10 of your SP bar here to do this. So once you're out of SP, you can no longer do these. Then you have to wait for the cooldown. But these are all artifacts. So, in my opinion, try to do these for the gems, beat them all, get all the gems, and then don't, don't do them anymore unless you really want a character really bad. In my opinion, you're just going to want to wait for co-op events that will let you farm up the artifacts in there. It's so way easier for you, and you'll get way more of what you're looking for. But down here... These are the same thing, artifacts, artifacts. But these are for summons. Okay, so this is where you farm the big summons. Ifrit's always here, Shiva's here, Rama's here, 
Le Leviathan's here and now Odin's here all the time. So as you can see I have completely completed Ifrit, Shiva, and Rama. But I haven't done Leviathan and Odin. So I want to do that so I can get the free gems. Because there's going to be gems in here. Probably a thousand gems for doing one of those. And then uh, to get the summons, you go in here to bind. And then you just click on anyone that's not yours and is glowing. And you confirm, then you have it. Then you click enhance on this menu. Now you can see that I have a few of these that are blacked out. They're level 20. That is the max level for the game. For these summons right here. So you want to max them out because it raises the summon speed at level 11. So as you can see, summon speed here is moderately fast. She's only level 8. But, if I had her level 11, it would say summon speed fast like this chocobo. Now, also, you can see these blue numbers here. So, if I level it up to 13, the brave damage will be... Ni I'll get 900 brave, and max brave bonus will be 1300 instead of 1200. But these big summons, they do a lot more damage and increase your brave amount by a lot more. That's what they're there for. That's why they're normal speed. These are also give you better abilities. So like this Leviathan gives you 60% brave for 12 turns when HP falls below 50%. Blah 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 blah. These ones are small. They don't give you as much. See this one raises your party HP by 150. That's basically useless. But you're not using it for that. You're using it for only the turns. The free turns in fights. So I think I've explained all this junk here. So armor is also in here with your weapons. You do the same thing with armor that you do with weapons. You try to MLB it. Uh, to get the armors, you go back into this main menu, click here. Armor token shop. You're going to want to collect these armor tokens here. When you get those through the multiplayer events and sometimes through special events that you will have to read about inside the information. Now you can go in here and say, say you are starting out so obviously Sephiroth is going to be probably your main man. You're going to get two Sephiroth armors for free doing his story but you need to MLB it because it gives you more CP to give you more passives and then it'll give you more levels for this armor more stats all better so you want to go into this armor shop buy two more of these combine them and level it up easy now let's see here. Friends, if you go into the friend system. So you can see I have all these friends here. Ask your friend for their ID. You put their ID in here, you click search, you add them that way. So you want to follow them and then they follow you and then it will look like this. You have two moguls here. Now I have a couple of people here where I have hearts there, and that's because you can favorite them. If you click them, you can unfavorite them or favorite them, and that will make it so they're always at the top. If you have followed somebody and they haven't followed you back, it'll look like this. I followed FG3000 a long time ago. He doesn't even play this game. Uh, but he hasn't followed me back, so his is grayed out. And I have some followers here that followed me. But I haven't followed them back. Mostly because they haven't been on in a long time. But the reason that you want to do this is because. 
when you go into a mission we'll go into one really fast here okay so you say click click begin it's gonna show you all your friends here see if I can f okay so these guys they're not my friends so if you click one of these guys they're actually worse for you than your friends because they will only be out there for like four turns but if you click somebody that is your friend they'll be out there for five turns and that is the difference you want them out there as long as possible so make sure that you have your friends your friends and you're both following each other okay so here we have one more thing to talk about on this map these are obviously all story quests you want to do all the story very important to do all the story okay so lost chapters I'm kinda of downloading cuz I haven't some new stuff just came out for this game for lost chapters and I haven't bothered with it yet but this is where like Seth Roth when he leaves he'll be gone nobody can get him again for probably a few months until they bring him back into lost chapters Squall was the first uh, non-story character in the game so he, he's he was gone for a long time and then they finally put him back into the game then you go into lost chapters and you can unlock these characters through here so if you don't have these characters go into this place click here and then you will have to do their story you go in here do all the story and then you unlock them blah 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 easy as that lost chapters is also pretty hard so when you click here do the easy one that's easy but if you click hard it says quest level 90 I obviously I haven't done this I haven't tried to do it in a long time but because when it first came out it was level 90 it was very hard and I didn't do it so I, yeah don't feel bad about not doing these things they'll be there for a while but like if a lost chapter first comes here like this one this one and this one the Seymour one they just came so they actually have missions now all these missions for the other ones they're gone but these three that just came here they actually have missions that are here for a while see if I can find them here lost chapters run away see you only have 13 days to do them and then you'll get all this bonuses there so you're gonna get a bunch of these power orbs that's just a uh, weapon training XP so who cares that much about that and then you have tickets used to get uh, I think gems but maybe I don't get that anymore I can't really remember honestly but yeah the only way to get these missions are is to actually do the hard hard modes and whatever within that amount of time but it's whatever if you can't do them you can't do them don't feel that bad about it so now we've done all these I think we've covered all this stuff now we got a draw and shop I think that's the last thing so this is what the game's about here so every character in the game is free but not every character in the game you are gonna be able to use and that's because every one of these characters needs weapons to be good weapons to be strong weapons to increase Sorry about that. What their moves do. And that is where the gotcha system in this game comes in. It's a very, I would say, free to play friendly gotcha system. Obviously, if you want to support the game, you should support the game. It's pretty awesome. But uh, every day you get gems. Gems is the in game currency. As you can see, this is this banner just came out today so it's half off banner normally banners cost 5,000 
So, 10 plus 1, that means you are guaranteed to get a 5 star weapon every time you do a multi draw. Guaranteed 5 star. Doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get what you want. But, most of the time, you're going to get one of the banner 5 stars. 35 CPs are more rare than 15 CPs, but you can also get unlucky and get an off banner for a, that could be junk. If you click in here, it shows you the rates, five stars. When you're in. so when you do a pull, you're guaranteed a five star, but that doesn't mean you're only guaranteed one five star. You can get other five stars if you're lucky. So. You have a 5% chance of getting a 5 star. That's not your guaranteed. 30% chance to get a 4 star. 65% chance to get a 3 star. You also have these tickets here. And you can collect these. They're doing events in the game. And then you get a chance to get lucky. So the banner that I actually would want to pull on is now gone these banners only stay up for so long but yeah you just click here okay so if you do a malte it doesn't matter what the color is for this orb because you're guaranteed a gold anyways they haven't really got good animations in this game for these but if you do a single and it's gold, you're guaranteed a, a 5 star. If it's silver, you're guaranteed a 4 star. But it can go up to a 5 star. I got a bronze, useless junk. That's only good for selling and uh, giving XP to other weapons. If you're out of tickets, it'll say you can do a single pull for some gems. Don't ever do that. It's a waste. Uh, so you have a gem shop up here. You can buy with real money. These coupon cards, right now, there's 11 hours left or whatever that you can buy these. They're pretty good value. So as you can see, this is $5. And you will get... A total of 1,600 gems for $5. So... 1,600 gems from that Kubo card is only $5. And if you do that here, it costs you $10 for 1,500. So it's a much better value. But it costs you 5,000 gems to get one multi pull. So you're spending $5 for not even uh, like a fourth of a multi pull. So a multi pull based on that price is like twenty dollars so yeah you c don't go in here and just pull on any banner for the hell of it if you start the game make sure that you know what character you want and then you go in there and you try to pull for that character now you you do get a lot of gems in this game so it's, don't 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 uh never pull on anybody that you want if you like a character pull for them but i'm just saying if you don't really like a character don't bother pulling on them it's not that important to uh do the ex quest and all that stuff if you know some other people or youtubers that are always doing exes and blah 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 well just think of it this way those exes they might give you 500 gems if you beat them and maybe like five tickets or 10 tickets it costs you 5000 to do a multi-pull. The only way you're going to do those is if you like MLB the weapons most of the time. Like you need really good weapons. And if you just go all out for characters that you don't really care that much about like fan wise. You're just going to have these weapons to beat these EXs that you don't even like. And it's going to waste your gems. So don't do that. Oh yeah, while we're there, I forgot to uh, show what that last thing was. 
Okay, so there's also an item shop. Now this item shop, I never even go in here. And I don't think many people do. But you go in here, and you, there's gear slots. You can buy these EXP books and whatever for real for gems. I suggest not doing this. I know some people like to do it, but I don't I wouldn't waste them on that. You can also buy more artifact space and stuff with gems, but there's really no reason to do that unless you're being lazy. I think I covered everything now. If you have questions, just ask in the comments. This is getting to be a pretty long video. See you later.